Well, Becky and I got a package in the mail today, and we're going to open it up and make sure that uh, it's what we think it is, what we think it is. Oh, this is Becky. Hi. My daughter, Becky. Hello, friends. And Becky is a pretty darn good cook. So, this is a hot plate, and we're going to be cooking today. Let's see what it looks like. This came from the Sunavo company. That's S-U-N-A-V-O. And... I asked them to send me a big one because I'll tell you why. Ooh, wow, look at that. You want to pop some? Yeah. Whee! I want to be the guy that invented this. <laughs> hey, look at this. Cool. Very nice. It says Sunavo induction cooktop. Two year warranty. Got a website, www.sanavo.com. 1800 watts of cooking power. 15 power levels. Whoa. And I want to talk about that because that's why I picked this one. 15 temperature levels. Huh. And a timer up to 300 minutes. I like that. What else we got going here? Oh. It'll boil water, it'll keep things warm, it'll make soup, it'll fry, it'll stew, it'll simmer. Let's see it. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see what we got. Pull on the box. Oh, nice. Look at that. By the way, we're in my RV today, and uh, we're going to cook in my RV because this isn't a new RV, but a lot of new RVs are totally electric, and I've been interested in the idea of cooking with electricity in my RV, and that's what these things are all about, an induction cooktop. That's pretty sharp looking. What do we got here? A magnet, so you can see if the pots and pans that you're using are going to be compatible. Oh, so it has to stick to the magnet. Yeah. Okay, here's the big test. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck. All right. They're so real all clad. We're good to go with. <laughs> we're good to go with those. What else we got here? Oh, a cleaning cloth. I like that. For wiping it down. Very nice. And uh, a little card here. What's that card say? It says, Sunavo, when you're happy, we're happy. I like it. Sounds like a takeoff on happy wife, happy life. <laughs> I got one of those too. And as a matter of fact, you know why she's happy? Why? Because 18 years ago when we moved to Mexico, she said, if you're not going to work anymore, neither am I. The rice maker is beeping. Yes. She said, if you're not going to work anymore, neither am I. And I'm not cooking anymore, so I had to learn how to cook. <laughs> so I've been cooking for about 15 years. I'm up to three recipes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I'll go through the uh, how to run it in a little while, but for right now... Isn't that pretty? That's amazing. I can't wait to use it. Can't wait to cook. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We got it plugged in. Turn it on. All right. Push that button there. And uh, plus, uh, got, got a fan going. Got a fan going. So, oh, but it doesn't get hot. That's not how it works. You can put your hand there all day unless you got a cheap ring on. <laughs> But put the pan on Oops. there. You see, is it getting warm? Ooh, already. Look at that. Whoa. Hey. Wow. And that's not mm -mm. amazing. So what are we cooking today, Becky? We are cooking cashew chicken. 
cashew chicken. Cashew chicken. Thai cashew chicken. Thai cashew chicken. Huh. It's hot. It's hot? It's hot. So we just turned it on and it comes on on default is um, number 10 which is I think if I read that correctly 280 degrees and it will go up to uh, 15 power which is 460 degrees. I think so. Let me just read the manual make sure I know what I'm talking about. So yep, 460 degrees at number 15. Before I cook, I need to make my sauce because I want to get that starting to marry. Okay. So what I've got is some dark sweet soy sauce. Okay. And we've got some regular soy sauce. Okay. We've got some brown sugar. And we've got some fish sauce. And last thing, a little bit of cornstarch so that we get a nice thick sauce out of that. And I'm just going to put that all together. How hot's that thing getting over there? It's cooking. Yeah. It's ready. All right. We'll just set that aside. We're going to add a little bit of peanut oil. First thing we're going to cook, we're going to toast up those cashews. Just give them a little bit of color. Okay, so we're browning, is that the right yeah, word? Yeah. We're browning the cashews? Just giving them a little bit of color, brings out the nutty flavor. And these are raw organic, well, unsalted cashews. As a matter of fact, that's where they are from Costco. Look at that sizzling. <laughs> and this is on essentially medium power. Right. And we've done this in real time. We, we haven't like we oh, waited for 15 minutes for it to get hot. Look at that. It was instantly hot. Yeah, they're getting brown. Look at that. Cashews. They're getting brown. Okay. Cashews are Cashews ready. Cashews are toasty brown. We're going to just toss those in here. And next up, we're going to add a little bit more peanut oil. And we're going to add the onions. So we've got about one yellow onion, half a yellow, or half a yellow pepper, half of a red pepper. Right now, pick that up for a second. Just pick it up. Well, it gets warm, but it's transferred from the pan. Yeah. Hmm. Once this cooks down a little bit, we're going to add garlic and chili pepper flakes. Now, we've got about three cloves of garlic. Mm hmm And some chili pepper flakes. I like mine pretty spicy, but I'm not making this too spicy for you guys. And we're still at 1,000, which means we're at the default of 280 degrees. And we would go up if we press this plus button here, or the minus button over there. You can raise or lower the temperature between 15 different ranges. Uh, there's a timer over there. I think I read that uh, you can time it up to 300 minutes. And what happens when it gets done timing is it shuts off. I think I'm ready to dump my veggies. Okay, I'll back up.
Oh, boy. That smells amazing. Mm. Time to add some chicken. Yeah. That's a bunch of chicken. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do the chicken in a couple batches here. So, I'm not the cook here, but I'm going to make a suggestion. You're cooking in a small bottomed wok. Why don't we use this bigger pan? Oh. Dump the chicken in there. Yes. You can cook more chicken. Yes. A flatter, bigger, flatter. Just, just pick that up and I'll put this one on okay. there. Oh, that's perfect. And, oh, I heard a beep. It means, yeah, we know what you're doing, probably. Let's see how long it takes that to get warm again. So we had the timer set and it was a minute and 37 seconds before it started sizzling again. I've noticed something. I have a fan up here on the ceiling that when I'm cooking and things are steaming and I'm using my propane cooktop, I have to open up these vents. It is not getting hot in here because as advertised, these things don't produce any extra heat. The pan's getting hot, the rest of it's not. It's incredible that the pan, the whole thing is hot. There's Everything something else that goes on hot. here, and that is that every time I have ever cooked right there where you're cooking, because my gas three burner stove is right below there, I've had the opportunity to test my smoke alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not going off. I expected it to go off. This is awesome. It is. So, you cook a lot and those are your pans you're cooking in. Yes, they are. What do you think? I love it. I, I'm amazed. Um, I love that it's instantly hot. Don't have to wait for the burner to heat up. Um, that has always been one of my objections with electric stoves versus gas, which is what I cook on regularly. Yeah. Um, I have never found something that wasn't gas that I could stand cooking on. I can't wait to cook on this again and again. This is unbelievable. You're not going to get to cook on it again and again because well, it's staying in the motorhome and you're not going. <laughs> well, you're going to be here for a couple of weeks and maybe if dinner's good, you'll invite me back. <laughs> well, the deal is that uh, with the discount that the Sonovo company will give you if uh -huh. you use my Amazon link, Ooh. you can afford your own because it costs less than that pan you're cooking with. <laughs> So that pan isn't big enough to hold everything. I'm going to put the, turn it on, heavy cast iron, plus puts it at the um, 10 range and, oh my gosh, I already can't put my hand in the pan that quick. So you're going to do some sauce there? Yeah. I'm going to add everything back to the pan. Okay. Listen to that. Jeez. What was that? Like 30 seconds. It's sizzling. Yeah, that's... And this pan is like heavy. That's insane. And we've got our mixture of soy sauce and brown sugar and fish sauce. Mm-hmm. Can, can I smell it? Yeah. Oh, wow. It, it smells like a Thai restaurant. I hope it tastes like one, too. I'm thinking it's gonna. I'm thinking it's gonna also. Okay, the cook says we need to turn it down, so let's see how this, there's a minus thingy. That's a thousand watts, 900 watts, 800 watts, 700 watts, 600 watts, 500 watts. What do you think? Yeah. That's great. Well, look, look in the manual over here, see, and it says 
500 watts 500 watts is power 5 180 degrees well it's not sizzling as big as it was I guess that's the deal let's look at this a little closer so you can go from T1 that's temperature 1 100 degrees to 480 degrees in steps of it looks like 20 degrees and over here different powers is different wattages 100 watts 200 watts 300 watts up 100 watts at a time up to 1800 watts so here's my deal hi Lynn hi Jay are you getting ready to eat? um my tummy's ready how does it smell? smells good <laughs> So anyway, I have a thousand watts of solar on my roof and I am not always in an RV park. Sometimes I'm boondocking. I'm just out and about sitting in the desert. I ordered this particular one because of that ability to change the wattage. So on my smartphone, it Bluetooths to my solar charge controller and it tells me how many watts I'm getting. And if I'm getting 600 watts at high noon, I could set this cooktop at four, or five, six hundred watts and it's cooking right now at 500 watts. Look at that. And be cooking totally with my solar panels and not using my batteries at all. I think this thing is RV friendly. We're going to have a little contest. We have two identical all clad pots with each with exactly one cup of water. We have a timer. We have a propane burner. And we have the Sunovo induction cooktop. So we're going to put that on there. 1000, that's the default that on there and we'll see how long it takes to boil water start the timer now well we're at uh, 50 seconds and on the propane stove I see nothing and here I'm starting to see bubbles and a little steam yeah fogged up my lens we're at uh, a minute and six seconds We're doing this at half power essentially, 1000 watts. Man, that thing is cooking, look at that. You're getting big, big bubbles, not boiling, but bubbles on the bottom of the pan. And over here, I'm starting to see tiny bubbles on the bottom of the pan. But I'm not going to sing the song for you. Okay, we're at two minutes, and it just took off into a hard boil on the induction cooktop. And here I'm getting bubbles and steam. Not boiling yet. I'm going to let it go. 3 minutes and 37 seconds. Um, that's almost a boil. That's yeah, real close to a boil. It's about to break into a boil. I think that was a good test. Let Let's eat. Yes. Lynn, did you get mm. some cashews? Mm. Yes. Mm. Well, mm. well, I did a cooking show one time and then I didn't show the finished product on the plate and I caught a lot of grief over that. So, here we go. Thai cashew chicken. Is it going to fit into my motorhome? Yes, it's going to fit into my motorhome. I've already got a place for it. Check this out. Is that perfect or what? Hey, if 
you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.